What's up, sexy Sandland Squad? I'm uh, I'm live streaming right now, so don't get mad at me. But I want to do a tier list because we just hit eighty thousand subs on uh, on YouTube. I have a, a a tweet right here. We broke eighty k, almost thirty six million views. So that's fucking amazing. So I'm just doing a tier list. I was gonna do the whole tier list uh, and then explain my choices, but I was explaining too much while doing the tier list. So I was told to just start recording now. So that's what I'm doing. Basically, what I have so far, SS is, I mean, these gods, which are unbeatable, unless you are one of those gods. S+, plus, I think, I, everyone here agrees on S+, plus and I think, thinks AMC should be S+, plus, but because he has no jump or um, mobility or dash or whatever, I don't think he qualifies. Pele is up there because she has, I mean, she's Pele, right? Her life seal is ridiculous. Uh, Kernanos is up there because right now, like this patch, if you build Ichabal and Runeforge and Aussie, you're not going to lose with him. End of discussion. It's, it's ridiculous. Um, again, this is only my opinions. Don't get mad at me <laughs> because these are my opinions. And if you don't agree, you know, that's fine. But don't yell at me for my opinion. And second, this is only for duel. I'm not going to do Conquest or Joust or anything. Um... You know, I have about five or 6,000 hours in just a duel and have been number one in the world on multiple occasions, GM every single split. So I kind of know what I'm talking about in terms of duel. Um, and you can either take my word for it or not. That's it. That's what tier lists are for. But here we go. Um, just recap real quick. Anubis, Lifesteal, OP, Baron. Maybe, maybe I'm over selling baron a little bit but i think he's really really good and people just don't know how to play him um these gods are really good agni is amazing clear uh apollo is pretty good clear with his one fenrir uh arachne and aquang have amazing fighting potential so that's why they're up there this a list is just kind of gods that i think are decent but not the best i put camazots there because like my camazots is like up here somewhere but I think on the average player's Kamazots, if you miss your two, you lose the fight, which is, I mean, that's gonna that's gonna lose you the game more often than win it, unless you're amazing. Um, but yeah, I have Ama, I have Chalk, I have Achilles all up there because they can all go out attack speed, which frags in duel, um, and everything else. I think is, I mean, except maybe Outpost. You might be looking at Outpost and being like, why is he at B? I think he's shitty, and he loses to pretty much everyone that can stay on him. Which, in this dual meta, as you can see, is literally everybody. So, I don't think he's very good. Uh, Chernobog, I'm going to put him A+. He might be S with the new items. Um, but I'm going to put him A+. Oh, Bologna, by the way, is between S+, and S, because I'm not sure where she goes. I think... Um... I think she's probably S, but like, again, with the new items, anything is possible. So I, I think S plus is a good place. Chiron, just pretty average, maybe A plus, a little above average, but uh, I'm going to stick him at A. Kronos, I think A plus. Not S tier anymore. Uh, it's just, I mean, there's other guys that just outperform him so much. Ukulin, hard to stack the passive. If you can and you're good at it, he's amazing. If you can't, then uh, then he's really shit. So I'm going to put him in the middle. Cupid, I think, gets a really bad rap. Um, and people think he's actually really bad. But I think he's better than all of these gods. The only one that I think is better is Kamazots. And that's just because I love Kamazots. So I think Cupid's actually really good. He has a lot of CC. Daji. Uh, really good fighting and if you max the two really good clear the only problem is if you have a if you're fighting someone with a cc i mean alt you gotta get fragged so i would put her up here but i think she's just a plus for right now okay discordia she's getting slept on on the real i'm not kidding discordia is insane if you get max cooldown and you max the three she's fucking crazy you can use your one every like 0. 0.2 seconds. People are sleeping on her. That's that's Zonkwe material. Only he's probably S plus because he's super tanky. But I'm gonna keep him here. These two, they're being slept on. Don't sleep on them. I promise. 
If you play them, you'll love it. Erlang, A+. Plus. You gotta scroll up for them to see. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Erlang is A+. Plus. She loses to Assassins. She does lose to Assassins, but if you get max cooldown with Gem... I have fought so many Kali's who cannot even catch her. Fafnir, <laughs> I mean... I'd pick Bacchus and Fafnir in the same tier. I think these, these things are better. RDO, uh, Kabrakan, and Cerberus are better. Ganesh? Yeah, you're pretty far down there. The only way to get a kill as Ganesh is to land your alt 3 combo. I know, I'm just... <laughs> the only way to land, uh, or to land a kill in this dual game mode with Ganesh is to... Uh, Land a combo. Geb. Mm, probably. Mm. I don't know. I don't know. He's somewhere between B and C. I'm, I'm going to keep him at B. Or I'm going to keep him at C just so it looks even. But he's somewhere between B and C. Guan is really bad. Not like not like these guys bad, but like in terms of warriors, because warriors are pretty good. Uh, I think he's definitely down there because his clear is so easily stopped. The only clear he has is his three, and it's so easily stopped by any CC. You know, silence, stun, a root, because then you're missing the wave. So... He's, he's pretty low down here, honestly. Hachiman, full power, makes him pretty average. Uh, attack speed makes him pretty average, so... I'd say he's up there, maybe with Cupid, but I think Cupid... Like, he, they have the same amount of ability damage, but Cupid's has CC associated, and he has no CC uh, with his 2 or his alt. His 3 is CC, but... If you have to dash in to someone to stun them, it's a lot less of a powerful CC. Um, Hades, he's pretty good up there. A ton of self-sustain. Really good clear, pretty good fight. Again, I think these gods beat him just because they have that, that upper edge in terms of just pure damage output. And while he's standing there, alting, Hades is pretty vulnerable, even though his protection is like doubled. Um, Hell, I think she's S. She does a lot of healing a lot and a lot of damage. I've been playing Hell recently, actually. Um, I've been really loving it. She's she's really strong, actually. But I don't think I don't think that's like a sleeper pick. I don't think people think that that's wrong. She's really good. Hera, she's really good too. I don't know. Actually, I'm really confused. I have not banned Hera at all this split, but. People are not picking Hera, and I don't think they understand how actually strong Hera is. You're 2v1-ing, you know? Like, <laughs> it's the same thing as Scotty. You're 2v1-ing. It can't be bad. Hercules, he's good. He has a lot of power. You can go auto-attack on him if you want. Naturally tanky and has a heal. Pretty strong. Hoi, he's got CC. Same with Cupid. Lots of damage. Um, he has a jump, though. Bats. He's got damage, but it gets stopped kind of the same as Guan Yu. Only the difference is the reason I'm putting him at A instead of B plus is um Hun Bats has a far jump and Guan Yu only has a small dash. Hun Bats is a really hard CC ultimate throughout the whole time. Like the whole alt. And his is only a CC at the very end. I mean it's a slow, I guess, but it's only a, a stun at the very end. Um and Hunbats can stick to you a little bit better than Guan Yu can. So, that's that. God of Demonetization. Don't ever say her name. She's right there. She's got a stun. She's got good damage, but she has a hard time uh, beating objectives down. Because she's really good at camping and getting to late game, but not very good at snowballing. Izanami, I think, is really good. Really, really good... Uh, uh, wave clear early game and then super good fighting potential super late game with the steroid Giannis, I mean 
Let's be honest. <laughs> Let's be honest with ourselves. He's not good. I don't know why he's not good. It seems like he would be really good because he has damage and he has a lot of mobility and he's got CC with his one. But I guess if you use your one for CC, you don't have mobility. So I guess that's probably why he's bad. Um, Jingwei, pretty good. I think the whole reason you pick Jingwei as your hunter is the passive. I mean, if you wanted fighting potential or ability damage, there's much better hunters to pick. But um, if you're a really aggressive player and you want to just get that poke out and then back and then be back there to get more poke out, then you know you can use Lizer passive really well. Um, Jormungandr on the real, I think one of the better guardians. So I'm gonna put him up here with these boys. I don't think he's as good as Ymir, which is probably A plus, maybe S. But I'm gonna put him at A plus just because he has no mobility. Kali. Um. Hmm. Maybe S. I don't think Kali beats these gods. Or these gods. But she could she could beat these gods. Maybe not Bologna. But she would destroy most of these gods. Yeah, I think I think S is a good place for Kali. Kepri. <laughs> okay, this is a weird one. Cause honestly, if you go auto attack Kepri, you kinda beat ass. But if you don't, you lose. <laughs> okay, I'm going to move Fafnir up to B+, plus because I actually don't think... I, I think Kepri is better than Ares. <laughs> um, but definitely not as good as Fafnir. So I'm moving Fafnir up. I'm going to put Geb up at B. I told you guys Geb was B or C, but I think he just looks better at B. Arthur, A+. Plus. If you play him right, it's like the thing about it is, um, oh shit. Sorry. The thing about him, King Arthur, is, uh, the ultimate. It's really difficult to get your ultimate fully stacked up so that you can use the double ult. So you ult them up into the air and then you stun them when you land, basically. Um,. I think Arthur is pretty good. He might be S, to be honest, Arthur. But uh, I think just the lack of secure for kills is probably A+, plus then. Arthur can't push tower. Yeah, he, he really can't. There's no way Kali is better than Kronos. I will 1v1 you after this if you want. You can be Kronos, I'll be Kali. We'll see if you still agree. Uh, Kukulkin, really good clear, really sa safe clear. Not very good fighting potential. That's pretty much that. Kumukarna, put him with the B boys. Kuzumbo, put him with the B plus boys. He's got really good clear. Um, and honestly, he does so much damage. Like, actually so much fucking damage. Loki, with his nerf, I don't think he's good. I think most, I think almost every guy in the game beats Loki right now. Medusa, we'll put him put him at A plus. Good fighting potential. Um good clear. Really good early. Amazing late. You know, what does she lack actually? She might be she might be S tier. Because she doesn't really lack anything. She actually doesn't lack anything. She's amazing clear. She doesn't have sustain, I guess, which which all of these gods have in common. You know, hives, built-in lifesteal, built-in heal, built-in heal. I guess she doesn't have sustain. I don't know why. I think she's just fucking amazing. She's got a heal. She's got a shield. She's got a heal with the jump, the alt, and the two, which yeah, I, don't, I don't know if many people know this, but if you two someone, you get lifesteal from them, and Zong has a heal. So I think she's she's pretty good at A+. Plus. Um, Mercury is just trash. He's honestly so fucking bad. He can fight, but only late game. So, 
Neat. She's pretty good. I'd put her up here with these gods. For the only reason that, you know, she, she's got a heal. She's got sustain. She's got damage. The only thing she's really, really bad at is a, an escape. And you might be saying, Sam, she's got her three. And I know she has her three, but it's super predictable when they're going to use it. And it's super predictable where they're going to land. So it's really easy to... Uh, it's really easy to to predict the jump, which is why she's not higher. Now, Nemesis is actually really tricky, right? Because if you have a hard CC, then you beat Nemesis. Like a stun or silence, you beat Nemesis. If you do not, you lose. So I don't know if that puts her at S or at B. Because... So a hard CC, you lose. No CC, you win. So I'm just going to put her A as average. And I might change that later, but I don't know. Najah, I think, is crazy good. Honestly. You build tanky, just like Fenrir. That's why Fenrir is up here. You build tanky, uh, they're amazing. They do so much base damage, you don't really need to build power on them. And then you just kill people with alt. Um, Nike's A. She can clear. She can be auto attack based. Uh, she has a little bit of self sustain. Not that great though, overall. So we'll just keep her at A. Nox, I think, is A. She can clear. She can peel. She has a dash. But uh, again, nothing really spectacular that stands out. Same for Niwa. She doesn't really. She doesn't even have a dash. But um, she's really good at fighting and clearing, so she can stay at A. Odin. Odin, man. Oh, oh, damn, Odin. He's bad. He's really bad. Because you have to decide. With Odin, you, there's no... You know, like, with Arachne, you can auto-attack the wave or three the wave, and you still have fighting potential. You know, with all of these gods, you have an ability to clear the wave, and then you still have fighting potential with another ability. With Odin, you don't. <laughs> you use two abilities and half of your mana pool to clear the wave, and then you don't fight. So, yeah, Osiris, I think, is really good. I'll put it at A+. Plus. He sticks to you and he just beats your ass. The only problem is that if you're losing, you lose the game. Like, you can't really come back with Osiris. Poseidon is amazing. You get gem and attack speed. Because of his passive, he's so fast. He's as fast as AMC. And, um... You get gem, you can just run for days and do so much damage with your two. Ra, I actually just won a game, so Ra, no, I'm just kidding. Yeah, Ra's SS. We'll, we'll just keep him. No, he's he's probably A. He can clear, he can't run. Raijin, put him at A. He can clear, but I think most of these gods beat him. Honestly, so. Rom. Ram is a little tougher, uh, but the reason I'm going to put him at A instead of A plus is because he has no um, no damage besides auto attack, you know, and his alt obviously. But all of his damage is from auto attacks. So if you get thorns and hide, you beat Ram. So if the player knows what they're doing, they're going to beat you if you pick Ram most of the time. Ryzen is actually OP. I think Raijin is good also, so he might be A+, plus, but I'm going to keep him at A because he's very niche. He's a very niche pick. Not many people know how to play Raijin. It's just like the same thing with Kamazots, you know? Like not many people know how to play Kamazots. They're amazing if you play them well, but it's got a high skill cap. So that's why they're, they're both there. Rat, eh. I mean, Rat, he doesn't have safe clear. The only thing Rat has is fighting potential. And you might be thinking, like, why is Arachne A+, plus if she only has fighting potential also? Well, it's because if Arachne and Rat were to fight, Arachne would win about 15 times before having to back. So, 
Poseidon is definitely SS without a doubt. If you think you can beat Freya, Hebo, or Merlin with Poseidon, you're out of your damn mind. That's just a fact. That's just a fact. Um, also, this is my opinion, so shut the fuck up. Ravana. He's got really good fighting potential, and he can clear. He's got self heal with his three. He's got immunity with his two. Um, so overall, I think he's he's pretty up there, to be honest. Scylla is not good. Average at best. Um, Serket can't clear, but she has amazing fighting potential. I'll put her at B plus. She can win a game, but it's a specific matchup that she has to have. Scotty S plus because you're two v wanting people. I mean that's that's basically that. You <laughs> see, you're two v wanting people. It's going to be very hard to just outclass somebody that can two v one you. So back B. I mean I don't think I have to explain that. Soul. A plus because she has a heal and immunity even though the the reason she's not S is because the immunity takes a long time to kick in four or five seconds Sun Wukong Sun Wukong is weird actually because Sun Wukong takes a great player to be amazing with him so I think we put him at A because of the fact that you need to have a certain amount of skill to be amazing with Wukong. Again, just like Raijin, just like Kamzats. You have to you have to be good. You can't just like buy good items and win with them. You have to you have to play well also. Um Susano, I'll put it A plus just because I don't think that uh, I mean he has amazing clear and amazing fighting potential. The only problem he has is sustain. But I think that's a big enough problem to keep him at A+. Um, Sylvanas, you can be down there. Terra, you can be actually at B+, because you're really good at clearing. Thanatos is the same as Kamazots. He's at A. Again, you miss one ability, you die. If you hit the ability, you get a kill. Kamazots 2, Thanatos 1. Same boat. Morgan, um, SS, because you can be anyone, and then beat them with themselves. If you're a good player, Morgan, literally, you should never lose. If you pick Morgan, if you're a good player. I think that's actually, like, real. If you, if you pick Morgan, and you play that god better than they play their god, then you win. Because if he picks Merlin, and I pick Morgan, and then I'm a better Merlin, I can just be Merlin and beat him. Like, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I think the only reason that she's not actually SS is because her alt has a ridiculous cooldown. I'm going to put her at S, because I think she wins any matchup if you're good. I mean, if you're as good at the god as your opponent, she wins the matchup. Thor, he's at A. Mediocre at clear, mediocre at fighting, because you can't really be silent when you're alting is Thor, so everyone's always going to know when you're alting. Um, Thoth, A+, because he has really, really safe clear, and you can get the late game for free, pretty much. Uh, Tyr, Tyr, Tyr's A+. He has a lot and a lot of sustain, because people have been maxing the two recently, um, so he's a ton of sustain. And I think that's where he belongs. His clear is good. His sustain is really good. And his fighting potential is insane. And it forces them to get beads. And if they don't get beads, you just kill them for free whenever you have blink. So, yeah. Uller, S+. Plus. He's insane. Ban him all the time. Vamana, probably S because uh, hammers are a thing. Vulcan, probably S, because the same reason as Poseidon. He's really mobile because of his passive and his one knocking him back. 
as well as being able to self peel with the three he self peel with the one and um uh gem with max cooldown makes him insane to fight again with poseidon expel i think it's a bad rap i'm gonna put him a plus no i'm gonna put him a he does get a bad rap but i don't think he's that great i think he's average zinc tin i mean he's just bad he's at c he's he's better than these two but he's bad and then zeus a plus i think zeus is really good um because he he can combo really well he uses one ability on the wave and then he still has three damaging abilities for the opponent so yeah this is this is what i think ss gods the only way to beat these gods if you're not counter picking them is to be one of them s plus the only way to beat these gods is to pick ss or one of the other gods in this tier um I mean, Poseidon, I guess, could beat them. But Poseidon has no mobility, which is why he's not higher. Um, AMC, I know people are disappointed. People think AMC is SS, but he's not. Again, like, I've shown so many videos of me beating undefeated AMCs. All you have to do is be patient. Let them clear the wave and then fight them. Um, and everything else I've pretty much already gone over. So, that's my tier list. I... It, again, one more time, it's my opinion. If you have a different opinion, that's totally fine. Don't dislike the video just because you have a different opinion or you don't agree with me. If you do have a different opinion, tell me why. I'll tell you my fact and we can talk about it like a real human. Or if we can't talk about it, we can 1v1 that matchup and we'll see what uh, who comes out on top. <laughs> but basically, this is just my tier list. Uh, thank you guys for 80k subs. That's why I did it. It was because you guys did get me to 80k subs. And uh, I couldn't be more grateful. So thank you guys. And I hope you enjoy the video. Peace.